last topic, I don't want to waste too much time on it because it's just a headline that I wanted to share because it's a story. It's kind of a close to a chapter or a story. And it's also just a good lesson to kind of re, you know, reestablish, re go over here in terms of, you know, the situation. And it sucks. It's a sad, it's a sad situation all around. There's nothing positive that's going to come away from this, but I just want to, you know, hopefully the positive is that someone, it opens someone's eye, right? It wakes somebody up. It lets somebody be out there accountable for their actions and go, man, maybe I need to stop doing what I'm doing. If you haven't caught on to what I'm talking about here, this tweet should help. Vic Tafer, former Raider Henry Ruggs III, was sentenced to three to 10 years in prison. Henry Ruggs, you guys know I've said it many times, and unless you're a first-time watcher, you don't know this, but I'm a Raiders fan. And this is bigger than football, obviously, but this is something that did impact a lot of people. From the woman whose car he hit and killed, her dog, he had his girlfriend in the car, she survived, but I'm sure it altered her life. It clearly altered his life, right? Because we're talking about prison time and he killed somebody. Not, and then, you know, the conversation comes to was it intentional? Obviously, he wasn't out to kill somebody, but he made decisions and choices that, you know, he deliberately did and he killed somebody. So you can't, you know, negate that. It affected the Raiders, it affected the organization, the community, his teammates, because he was going to have a good career. So this is a good reminder, I think, for those out there, not just athletes, but anyone who is doing something at a high level, anybody who is doing something where they take a lot of pride in what they're doing, they work really hard at it, they spend a lot of their life trying to, you know, reach this goal, and how easily, off of one bad decision, you could alter it forever. We're talking about a young man who, by all accounts, was a, a good guy. A lot of people liked him. He played well in college, went to the pros, was getting his feet under him, and was starting to find a stride, makes one bad decision. Who knows how many times he did this, of course, and it finally caught up with him, but made one bad decision. It cost someone their life, it caused a lot of pain and hurt for their family, a lot of pain and hurt for his family, and ended his career, Right? Now, he may not spend all 10 years in jail. He may just spend the three or whatever the case is. I'm not going to get into like the, the law side of it all. But it's, just, it's this terrible story. It's a terrible story no matter how you slice it. Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Devonta Smith missed practice today because he was in Las Vegas for Henry Ruggs sentencing. The Alabama Brotherhood is different. This is from Nick Perkins. Again, it's good to see that he has support still, that he has friends still who are you know, by his side, while obviously he's not the victim here, he's the one who caused it, he is still a victim in a, in a sense, in terms of, you know, he's going to suffer for it. Not that he's a victim, but he's going to suffer for what he did. He's going to pay for what he did. And so he still has people who stand by him, of course. They're his friends, and there's people who just are like that. I don't know if I was in that situation how I'd feel in terms of, I don't, I don't ever want to be in a situation, obviously, where I have to face you know, that kind of situation. But I do always wonder, you know, how, how I would feel about a situation where if someone did something terrible that was close to me, could I still support them like that? Could I still, you know, love them the same? Could I still show the same compassion? I don't know, man. That's a tough one. That's really tough. But Devonta Smith obviously didn't care. He obviously still loves his friends, still supports his friend and took time away from work. Didn't care about the criticism that may come with it because there are people out here who will, who will, you know, judge you for everything you do in terms of even supporting your friend who did something horrible. So, you know, you know, I can't judge either one of them, obviously, in terms of whether I would do that or not. I just I it did bring the conversation to myself on would I do that? You know what I mean, would I, you know, be the guy to support someone after something horrible like that? I don't know. I don't know. Also, Henry Ruggs issued an apology this morning to Tina Tintor's family for the pain and suffering they have endured. He said, I let my family, my teammates, and those who bleed me down with my actions, and I hurt so many. He also apologized to her family, which, of course, this is all semantics. It may be something for him that brings some type of peace, or, you know, I doubt, I doubt it will, but it's something that you still feel like you have to do, you should do. It does bring some sort of, I'm sure, level of peace. I don't know how the family responded to it. I didn't see all that. But in this clip, he did apologize to them. And again, to his teammates, his family, everyone who loves him, all that kind of stuff. This is something he's going to have to live with, right? Like, it's not just the, the jail time. 
It's having to live with this forever. The criticism, the people staring at you, the dirty looks, the people who hate you for it, the family you left in pain forever, the fact that you cannot, you know, play the sport you love. I don't know how he makes a living going forward. I don't know if he made enough money in that short period of time to make a living. I think the Raiders were fighting for that money back. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. But there is just hurt and pain all around for something so stupid that could have been avoided. And, and again, I bring this topic up just because I think it's a it's a deep topic. It's one that needs to be spoken on. If it just touches one person, switches one person's mind, helps one person make a different decision, it doesn't have to be drinking and driving. It doesn't have to be that. There's plenty of other you know, reasons that, you know, things that you could do that can cause something like this to happen, right? And, um, you know, I just thought it was, you know, worth talking about here today on the show. Obviously, in the comment section, I'm not looking for sympathy for Henry Ruggs. I'm not looking for anyone to say anything nice about Henry Ruggs. I assume people will say nasty things about Henry Ruggs, that he got what he deserved. That's not nasty. That's just a fact. Um, we, a weird part of this that I did want to just bring up really quickly. I just thought it was so out there. Anytime there's a new story, there's always something that happens, right? Where you're like, what? Like, where did this come from? And one of the things I wasn't expecting when this was announced was OJ Simpson talking. OJ Simpson said the three to 10 years wasn't enough for the sentence for Henry Ruggs. The math doesn't add up. It's not really about Henry Ruggs here. He doesn't really care, right? That's not what it's about. You can wear this however you want. It's not what it's about. He put, I know I went to college on a football scholarship, but somehow this math is not adding up to me. You're driving a car roughly 160 miles per hour on a public street, end up killing a girl and her dog, and you get three to 10 years. If you just read this, it looks like, oh, you know, he wants him to be harsher on Henry Ruggs. That's that's fair. He's upset what Henry Ruggs did. That's not it. He literally then went on to say, all I did was go into a hotel room that I was invited to to redeem my own property and I got longer than that. So this headline doesn't totally get everything, the full picture, because it's not really like, oh, Henry Ruggs isn't charged with enough time here. I'm upset. I'm upset that Henry Ruggs didn't get enough time. He did something horrible. It's more about, I got more than Henry Ruggs and I'm not happy. That's not how it works. <laughs> That's not how it works. Every case is different. Maybe you think he should get more time, but it, we're, not, we're not relating cases here. But this does happen a lot, right? Like, I've seen a lot of people talk about Tory Lanes and all these kind of things. You know, whether you think the three to 10 years is fair, I have no clue. Again, I don't know the laws there. Clearly, they're, they're going by the law here somewhere. I'm sure he could have got much more time. I think at one point I've seen it up to like 50 years or something. So, yeah, there's going to be people who aren't happy with this, right? I mean, this is the way our country works. Obviously, you go to court, there's a judge, they make a choice, and you just go with it. I don't know anything about how long this like could have possibly been or what it should have been. I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments that, you know, three to 10 years wasn't enough. And, you know, when we think about, well, at least when I think about, you know, uh, prison time, when I see like three to 10 years, I just assume the guy's going to do three or five. Like, I don't think they're ever going to do the whole 10. That's how I look at it. I could be wrong here, but that's how I look at it when I see, you know, sentences like that. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Well, we know how it plays out. There's nothing to see at this point. However, again, the message to get across here, the message to get across is don't make decisions that you don't have to make that can put yourself or other people or your family or someone else's family or that, you know, your, your job or anybody in harm's way, if you can avoid it, something like this was totally avoidable, 100% totally avoidable. And that's what makes it, that's what makes everybody mad. That's what makes, that's what pisses people off is that this did not have to happen. Number one, you didn't need to drink that much. Number two, if you're going to, have someone else drive. There's plenty of car services you could have called. They all could have did it. So you just did stupid thing after stupid thing after stupid thing after stupid thing. And so that's what really pisses people off because your stupid decisions cause a lot of pain, suffering, and loss for a lot of people. You don't ever want to see something like this happen again. Of course we will because the world's not perfect and people don't make the perfect choices all the time. But this is the kind of stuff, if we can avoid it, we avoid it at all costs. It's just the close of a chapter. So I wanted to talk about it, try to get that message across. Again, if we could just touch one person with this message and re and, and make one person just change their, you know, bad decision one time. Who knows how, how much that affects down the line. But as always, at Rival Fantasy Sports here, we're always going to talk about topics, you know, about sports. Of course, we're going to cover fantasy sports, DFS, you know, 
basketball, baseball, football. We're not going to stop. We're not going to limit ourselves. But at the same time, sports are a big, big part of culture, part of our lives. And it gets way deeper than just the football and the field and the touchdowns and the catch and the run and the, and the home run and the, and the three-pointer. It's life, right? Sports correlate with life a lot. And so these kind of topics have to be discussed. They get under discussed sometimes. Everyone wants to talk about either the positive or, you know, the highlights. But here at Marvel Fantasy, we're going to touch on every topic, no matter how small, no matter how deep. Of course, if it makes it into the top three, you know, topics of the week, I feel like it's super important. And so I felt like this was just a good topic to touch on. Again, if you have anything to add to this conversation about this topic, feel free to drop it in the comments.